How's it going everyone? Welcome to Tactics. Today we're going to be diving into the best men's snowboard bindings for 2023 and 24. Here we are talking about the Union Strata. It is a do-all binding that does freestyle, it does park, it free rides actually quite well. The smaller disc allows the binding to basically flex more naturally with the board as it flexes from a freestyle perspective. So this gives you a little bit more play in terms of tip to tail flex. So in terms of ripping those hard or aggressive carves, you're still gonna get that out of this binding. The layup here is still mid flexing to responsive side of the spectrum. Um, you've also got a asymmetric high back that is pretty tech. What's really unique about it is that it actually is pretty stiff through the middle and a little bit softer on the sides, which allows for some freestyle tweaks, but still a lot of good response in terms of triggering your heel side turns. The mid strap itself, again, a combination of injection with a little bit of padding is asymmetric, you know, so it allows a little bit uh, more tweaking towards the inside, a little bit more response towards the outside and you've got a hybrid toe strap that's still gonna go either right over your toe or over the top. One of the big things that a lot of people notice when they pick this sucker up is that they feel this huge rubber dampening pad underneath, which again, in combination with the smaller disc, is gonna allow this binding to feel super comfortable and flexible for that freestyle performance. This is still a binding that's got an adjustable heel cup, so you can get that leverage over your toes and heels best centered and toolless adjustment. Get on it, enjoy it, get stoked, come and let me know. We're here to take a peek at the Union Force Classic and the update to that Force this year. Uh, the Force Classics were originally the binding that launched their brand. It's been around for 18 seasons. It's a classic all-mountain binding. It does a little bit of everything. It's the one binding that does all of it. It was originally designed to be the 100-day year rider binding. It's ideal for all skill levels from beginner to expert. Are you still looking at a, a newer injected strap versus the padding that used to be on it? Makes it a lot lighter and a lot more durable. You've got a canted base plate, which allows you to be a little bit more naturally positioned in your triangle when you're standing on your board. It also has the bigger disc. The bigger discs tend to translate more towards a free riding all mountain performance. Moving into the new model, new for this year, you're looking at a strap that's got a little bit more padding. There's been a slight takedown on the technology from their higher end bindings with, um, in terms of adjusting size on the mid strap that doesn't require a piece of hardware anymore. Um, you can just push this out. So if you need to make adjustments on the fly on the mountain, it's super easy. You can still do that with the classic as well. It's just a little bit more fussy. Um, also, when you look at these two bindings, you're seeing two different high backs. Uh, the classic has the padding up here. It's a little bit wider. Um, by basically paring this down a little bit. Again, you're looking at something that's a little bit lighter. In terms of what we're looking at in the base plate changes, you've gone from their classic free ride base plate on the, the classic force to a brand new fully redesigned base plate here. These highlights on the different colors are basically like dampening. Uh, it allows this, you know, like whole base plate to be a little less chattery on that hard pack um, compared to having the foam exposed here. You've got it kind of built in to be a little bit more long lasting and a little durable and a little bit cleaner looking. And one of the key features of all union bindings compared to other bindings on the market is that you're seeing a, an adjustable heel cup. That heel cup is going to allow you to get your leverage over both your toes and your heels a little bit more balanced. It's ultimate in customization and it's uh it's still the binding that every kind of rider can get on and not have anything to complain about taking a peek at the burton cartel reflex this binding's been in the market again forever this is kind of their flagship it does everything for every kind of rider unique to burton are quite a few rad features um, to start on this one you've got you know a smooth high back that is asymmetrical so it's going to follow your leg the way you kind of articulate out of your bindings um, it's got a forward lean adjuster that is done with a twist. Again, like everything else that you're seeing in the industry, the trend towards injected straps is something that we're also seeing here. Still toolless adjustment as well. Um, so if you ever need to make those adjustments on the fly, you can do so without having to have a tool in your pocket. The ability of this binding to be put over your toe cap versus over the top is still something that's in the mix. A unique feature to all of Burton's ratchets is that they actually are two pieces, you know, versus being a solid piece of metal that just kind of like travels up and down the teeth. They use a combination of metal and plastic, which tends to not chew the teeth up quite as much. Um, here you've also got a, 
unique technology called Reflex. You know, something that you see on all of the underfoot bindings from Burton is these guys have taken the binding and removed a lot of the material from underneath. You've got a hinged disc that fits in this. And by doing so, they've allowed the binding to flex very naturally from tip to tail. This sucker is everything you could possibly fathom wanting for every kind of ride that the snow is going to throw at you. Here we are taking a peek at the Union Ultra. The Ultra is definitely a freestyle powerhouse. It's very similar to the Strata in terms of it having the smaller disc that allows it to flex more naturally tip to tail, but still giving you all the response toe to heel that you need for some aggressive cars. You know, they lightened some things up and made some more comfortable additions to it. Um, those things being, you know, a nice clean high back. Um, it is asymmetric, so it follows the way that your kind of legs articulate out of your bindings. Um, it doesn't have a forward lean adjuster because generally speaking, people looking at the freestyle side of the market weren't messing with that technology. It's got enough of a degree built in there to give you all the response. The strap here, you know, compared to the Strata as well, has a little bit, you know, some padding on the inside. Um, still an injected strap and still has uh, that toolless adjustment that doesn't even need a piece of hardware. Basically, they were able to shed some weight by you know, like removing the, the tool here, so you just kind of push this out and make that modification. You can do that on the fly. What a lot of people loved about this is this massive bushing that you see underneath. The whole underside of this binding is basically kind of like soft and padded. Comparable to the big rubber mat that you see under the Strata, the Ultra is even cushier. Um, people who rode this on hard pack conditions noticed that it took a lot of the chatter out of the ride, um, allowing a more fluid kind of experience as you're carving. I love this binding and I did every kind of riding, including racing last year on this because it was so comfortable and still plenty responsive. I'd say if you haven't had an opportunity to get on one of these and you're a little bit more in the freestyle realm, this is a binding that you want to try. Here we're taking a look at the Bent Metal Action Snowboard Bindings. If you're a big fan of the Mervin family making LibTech and GNU snowboards, um, this is their binding company. It's an all-mountain free ride crusher. It definitely has some cool features that are unique to it. Um, one of those is the dyadic strap that you see here on the ankle. Compared to a lot of injected straps, you're looking at something that's a little bit more rubber-oriented with the response that you still get from a plastic inlay. A hybrid toe cap strap, which can go either right over your toe or over the top. Standard ratcheting system, which works like a dream. Toolless adjustment still. So if you're on the mountain and you need to make some adjustments, you don't need a tool in your pocket. And the classic cube. The cube basically just has to rotate 90 degrees to give you a variety of four different settings for how much forward lean you want to rock. One of the unique features to all of the bent metal bindings are their drive plates. Basically, it covers your whole base by giving you a different flexible option here, which basically can impact how the binding flexes, how the response is basically. With this drive plate, after you mount your binding with your disc, you slide this right in and click it down. Boom. You can actually buy aftermarket ones for different stiffnesses that will adjust how this binding flexes as well. Overall, you know, if you're looking to keep supporting your Northwest based Mervin brand, this is, uh, this is their binding company and this is the binding of choice for everybody who wants a binding that can do pretty much everything. So here you have it folks, our top five men's snowboard bindings for the 23-24 season. And if you're still craving more info, just hit the link in our description to check out our best in snow gear guide for a closer peek at our favorite gear choices.